We're here at the California ALS Research Summit, the second year that this summit has taken place. And right now joining me is Professor Clive Swenson. He is the director and chair of the California ALS Research Network. Correct. Thank you for joining us, uh, Dr. Swenson. So in, in your opinion, what are we accomplishing here at the summit today? Well, the research network uh, has brought together some of the leading uh, experts in ALS from across the state of California. Uh, and we're having a very interesting meeting just up the hall here. Uh, and we're looking at, particularly in this meeting, markers for ALS that will tell us about the disease and how it's progressing in patients. So uh, tell us what you hope to accomplish by the end of this summit, now in its second year. Well, we this year had, uh, for instance, John Thomas visitors, who's the new chairman of CIRM, or CIRM, who have $3 billion to give away for um, uh, research into stem cells in California. And so we hope to communicate to uh, folks like CIRM that the network is here to help ALS patients, and then combine our talent, which is all the ALS researchers in California, with some of the big institutions like CIRM, and particularly government institutions to fundraise for ALS and to try and get uh, discoveries that will lead to a cure for this devastating illness. Now for those who are watching, who have families or loved ones with ALS, what can you tell them about what we're finding out? What's on the horizon as far as you know? Well, it's a very exciting uh, time for ALS. Uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm upstairs. Uh, they've just discovered, uh, just in the last two weeks, two new genes for ALS that have now almost taken care of a large percentage of patients who have a genetic, uh, genetic background that gives them ALS. So about seven or eight percent of patients uh, have a gene for ALS, but the rest of the patients, uh, what we call sporadic. There's no known gene for those patients. But for the genetic portions, we're, more, we're getting closer and closer to understanding why people get ALS if they have a genetic mutation. The big, big question now is all those other patients who don't have a genetic mutation, what causes ALS? And this meeting is focusing on trying to understand better what causes it. Uh, and we're looking at very interesting technologies such as stem cells, which may have a potential to slow it down uh, or indeed eventually uh, find some type of method for curing this disease uh, in the long term. If you had your way, how soon would we see what? That's a very complex question. <laughs> uh, scientists are generally the worst ones at making predictions. Uh, I have to say, we, you know, some things that we thought would take years take two days. Other things we think we should be able to do next week uh, takes 10 years. I, I can't predict when things will happen. Uh, all I know is that if we invest wisely, if we set these networks up, if we work with the patients and with the government uh, and put a lot of money into ALS and a lot of resources to fund the science uh, and the clinical trials, we're going to move forward much, much faster than just sitting back and, and not investing time and effort into understanding the causes of ALS. Anything else you want to say to either the scientific community that will be watching, to the families with ALS who will be watching, or the patients with ALS themselves? So to the scientific community out there, if you're watching this and you work on ALS or a related topic, or you don't work on ALS and you want to work in ALS, uh, come visit the network's website. Um, be involved. We're, we're accepting anybody in California who works uh, in ALS research. Uh, to the patients and families, again, come visit our website. Uh, if you're a clinician, uh, Robert Miller is heading up the PAC-10, which are all the clinicians in California who work on ALS. And we work very closely with PAC-10, the network, to try and bring the interesting lab discoveries into the, uh, into the clinic. And through the, through the PAC-10, this, this group of 10 centers in California, we can do that. To industry, we want to partner with you as well. You're the people making the new drugs. Uh, we can help you see if the drugs work. We have, for instance, models of stem cells now, stem cell models um, of diseases that affect the, the neurons that die in ALS that we can test drugs on. So again, working together in partnership, I think we can uh, progress a lot faster in California uh, than working on our own. Okay, thank you very much. All right.